that are two on one. He's belly down. Again, and chest drive him over. And I keep this locked on his uh, waist like a seatbelt. Okay. Way too close. All right. As he bases up, the idea is to keep him and I'm going to keep our bodies teed out. I never want to be like hugging him, being parallel. I want to T-shape our bodies. So when I feel choice or I'm building up to a base, what I'm going to do is step in front and roll to my side, hold him into my lap. Okay? You'll see that his hips were trapped in my lap, and I'm not close. I'm sort of trying to get our bodies in the shape of the key. Okay? When I tilt, I'm pulling everything in tight, pulling my elbows, trapping my elbows, pinching my elbows in, and now the inside leg, the leg that I was riding on, left leg for me, is going to always be pointing to the sky. My foot's going to be posting on the mat. This helps keep, keep him trapped in my hips. If it's down, he can just roll away. So that, so I have to just lean it up sky. The other foot is going to trap the outside knee or foot and help maintain him in. As Troy starts sliding off his back, see how I elevate it? He starts trying to kick out and stuff. I keep his body in control. And now as he starts straightening himself out, right, straightening out the back. The way I keep him is to keep elevating and to keep serving my hips towards the shape. And keep fighting for it. That's a lot of motion going on at one time there. That's the basic premise. That's going to be the basic premise for almost all of our steps. Step in, pull him into my lap, arch him over. Where's my right knee going now? Is that one on the right side this time? Side. Skyward, what's my left foot doing? Okay, and I'm pulling that tight waist in, pinching my elbows together, and I'm going to keep circling my hips forward as he's fighting. And when we get here, I want your partner to fight. Get it? And then say, Okay, get off your back. And you're gonna try to hold him there at least for a one, 1,000, two, 1,000. Ready, set, go. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000. Right, all you gotta do is this, on your carpet. Base, two on one like you're riding a bicycle, suck it in, pull your hip, inside the end. Outside leg, hook, hook in the leg. Remember, to keep him here, I keep stepping, pulling, hooking up. Stepping, pulling, hooking up. Stepping, uh, pulling, hooking up. The other side, pull it in, in my lap, inside knee up, hook, step, pull, hook up, step, pull, hook up. That's how I keep him in my tilt, and I'm really doing that motion as much as I need to to keep him pinned in there. So, Troy, while I was coming in here and drawing tilts, you know, I was warming up, I'm a tilt person, it's gonna come in nice and easy. Troy's not giving me 100%, right? I'm just warming up. The other side, crazy. Pull him in. Okay, from his fight. Step and pull. Step and pull. Black chops. Okay, and I'm looking cross wrist. And the, the difference here is I don't even have to necessarily break him down, although breaking him down is nice because at least I have one weight on. But I don't even have to get this inside control. I can just get on the outside. So a little bit different grip. Wrist and an elbow rather than a two on one. Now, when I'm here, I definitely want a lot of. Shoulder pressure. Yeah, I'm into him. Big my shoulders in, pinching my head that elbow. And I want to give him the illusion that he can't get up. I want to, or not the illusion, I want to make it tough on him so he can't get up. And the way I set him up for this tilt is I make it miserable to be down there. I want him going, oh, God, ugh, this sucks. I'm pinning down. You know? And then all of a sudden, he's like, off. And he's like, oh, sweet. <laughs> Chance for me to come up. That's what I want. I'm baiting. It's fishing. Okay, so I'm pressuring him, pressuring him, and all of a sudden I just let him up. And he bases up. Nine times out of ten, that's what the guy's gonna do, is gonna take the opportunity to come up. So my tilt's a little different. I'm not pulling him into my lap like I was before necessarily. I'm gonna take, keep my grip the whole time, wrist, elbow. I'm gonna take that elbow hand and stick it inside. Okay, and as I do that, I'm tucking my head under. So I put my head and elbow down there between his leg. Now I'm gonna roll. Over my shoulders, pulling him. Look how I'm pulling with my right hand. And now watch the position. Where am I going to end up? Knee in the sky. Uh, knee hooked. Teed out. Now it's exactly the same move. Troy starts by now. Same thing. 
finish. Bicep tilt, what we call this. So I'm hooking his bicep and his wrist. He's based out here. Elbow and head inside. Gotta get both. Elbow, head, rolling, pulling. As soon as I hit, see I'm already stepping, pulling to that seat out position. Now, pull a little tighter here. It's much tighter than the first tilt. You should have a much easier time holding it there. Okay? One quick variation that you can toy around with, especially if you already know it. If you don't know the bicep tilt, stick to that. Head and elbow inside. Uh, but what some people also do is they'll thread the whole arm through. Okay, I, I don't like this because they can get the elbow forward some, but and, and it's just a little tougher, but I've seen people hit it successfully. And what's nice is you trap their whole hips now. Fight. It's way easier to hold them over. Um, this position is a little tougher to get you your navy and pull the wrist tight. So you can try that variation too, see so if you can find All I gotta do is grab that elbow and wrist. That's really easy to hit off that stand. Now I can hit it from the stand just the same. I gotta pressure in, pressure in, pressure in, roll. Standing. Questions there. Time he stands up. I lock it. Don't give it up. Just come in, elbow in. Roll through, swing on one tilt. Okay, he starts fighting. A lot of times I can use this as a setup. I might not even you know, be feeling like I'm gonna hit this. He starts fighting out. When he does, I hop to the other side, shoulder down and do a ball and chain. So I'm taking my outside hand, the hand that has an elbow, not the hand that has the wrist, and coming between his legs. And lock it. Let's see the other side. So I hit my two on one tilt, and a lot of times this is exactly the set of this. I just hit this to break him down, he starts fighting out, fighting out, bellying out, and he bellies out, I hop to the side, lock it. Okay? So, let's do the other side. So I have the wrist, he throw it out, Okay, I'm keeping that wrist pinned under his hips. I'm going to come underneath from my ball chain, and I'm locking his wrist and forearm. So I'll arch your hips up. Okay. I'm trying to grab as high in the forearm as I can so that when he starts pulling it out, hold on, I'll put it on. Keep pulling. It'll slide down to the wrist, and you still have control. If you start down here and you start pulling out, pulling out, you're going to lose it. So the higher up you grab, it's like having more rope, right? You know, anyone do rope swing in the lake? You know, grab the very bottom of the rope and jump. Yeah. Hype up that thing. So you know you're going to slip some, and if you slip, you want to have a chance at a piece that holds on, right? <laughs> so no one goes, oh, I'm good. I'll just grab right here. Okay? I'm fine. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Grab the top of the rope, and then if it slides down, great. Whatever. It slides down as long as you keep it. So he might be pulling out, pulling out, but I, I'm able to hold it a, a little longer that way. Now the tilt. Break it down. I no longer need the wrist, because I have the hand that's under the waist and under the hips. Grabbing the wrist. My other hand's gonna come in and scoop in this little hole, this little pocket in his elbow. Now, don't be nice. Nice would be this. You know, just, hey, come on, let's go. Troy, Troy doesn't respond to nice. So when you come in, think of it as a bicep curl. If you're curling it up, I want my elbow in his ribs, in the short of his ribs, where it hurts, where it's unpleasant, so that he doesn't want to be here anymore. I want him to go, I'd rather be on my back. This, this side. So I push that elbow down, curl up, pulling him into my hips just like my other finish. Okay? And you can scoop the leg or hook under, find what you like better. But the big key here is that you pull him in tight and squeeze. And in this one, I really have to be leaning in. Leaning in. If wrestle. Holding, holding, keep wrestling. When I'm ready, make him belly out. And keep it, because there's other moves you can do here too, which we're going to do another day. Tilt, two on one tilt, he fights. I pop to the other side, come under for the ball and chain, over into the elbow, curling, elbow on the ribs. Squeezing tight, leaning into him, squeezing with my knees, and my upper body. Hold him. Ready? Fight. Hold him. Hold him. If you're ready, go where you want him to be. Questions? Last up of the night, right? One, two, three.